They went to go see Solomon. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Seeds were planted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the year mm -hmm. that we reap. This is the year from the seed Ooh, being planted. Jesus. Now you're going to reap the harvest. Oh, some were planted by you and some were planted by other people. You're just going to come in and reap it. Are y'all listening to me? So he says, go overtake. Go overtake, Philip, that chariot. Go down to that chariot and overtake it. And when he gets down to the chariot, the Bible is letting us know that this Ethiopian eunuch is about to leave. He has worshipped in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and now he is about to leave. But he's leaving, and he's not complete. Yes. Ooh. He's leaving, and he doesn't even understand. Mm -hmm. right. So many people come into our churches and we they leave and they don't even have an understanding of what they mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. gave me. Mm -hmm. They leave and their worship is not complete. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible lets us know with all thy giving, get an understanding. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? He's about to go home to Ethiopia, yet he does not understand what he's reading. You got to ask God for understanding. Yes. Enough for just getting feelings and goose pimples and reading stuff. You don't really even understand. You got to read the Bible and ask God for understanding. While you're reading the Bible, write down questions. If they don't understand them, then call me and I will give you the understanding. All right. All right. Because you cannot do something ignorant. Yes. You, you cannot compel people ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because what gives passion is that you know. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we can't compel this world to worship Jesus because the church don't even know the Bible. Right. Don't even read it. Don't even understand it. Got more study tools than any other church age. Yet we are the most ignorant church age out of all of them. Amen. That's what statistics tell us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can you compare the sinner if you don't even know? <laughs> we pray like them. Anyway, he don't understand. He don't understand. I'm reading something. I don't understand. And the Bible says Philip walks up to the, the chariot, and Philip says, "Do you understand?" <laughs> what you read? I want to ask y'all that. When you read the Bible, do you understand? All that I just said, do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. I just didn't sound like heebie jeebie to you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it sound like, ah. Uh. <laughs> so, let me, let me say this too. While a preacher is preaching, follow him, take notes. So if there is something you don't understand after service, ask me a question. Because you got to understand. Yes, yes, yes. Ain't no doubt just sitting here listening, looking at me, and you know what I mean, and, and saying, no, you got to understand. Because you're going to get tested one day. Yes, yes. When the teacher is teaching, don't you know a test is coming? You're sitting here and you don't understand that one day the test is going to come? The storm is going to come. Don't you understand? It's going. The devil is going to come to your house, and everything I'm preaching, and you better know it, so you can tell the devil and put him in his place. Come on, Jeez. good God Almighty! Or have you just been reading and not even understanding? When the devil comes, you just fall apart because <laughs> you don't understand what you got. You don't understand who you are. You don't understand the authority you possess. You don't understand the power of the Holy Ghost. You don't understand what Jesus did on the cross. Good God, I feel God. And so, he says, you understand what I read? And look at what this powerful, because he's powerful. Mm -hmm. This noble man says, how can I? Except somebody, a man tell me. That's my job. That's why I have pastors and teachers. 
and prophets and apostles in the fivefold ministry that the body may be strengthened and grow up. He says, how can I accept somebody teach me? In other words, if you can't humble yourself to be taught, you ain't going to understand. Oh, that's okay. good. If you think you know everything, you ain't going to understand. Okay. I got teachers too. I'm a teacher. Guess what? I have teachers too. Because I understand I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. I have some men that's older than me that have been preaching longer than me that know the world longer than me and I know that I, I got to humble myself. You can't get taught if you don't humble yourself. Mm -hmm. This man got everything. This man is rich. This man is prosperous. And yet he still says, how will I know unless another man teaches? Mm -hmm. You would have thought all the stuff he had, he would have said, oh, I got this. But rich, wise, successful people understand they came there because somebody taught them. <laughs> you would never have nothing if can't nobody teach you nothing. Oh, good God Almighty. And so he says, Philip, come and get in my chariot. God told me to tell you, this year, don't give yourself to nobody that don't invite you in. I've been talking to the Lord. Y'all got to forgive me. Yeah. He said, this year, if they don't invite you in, you don't give them your wine. This year, if they don't invite you in, you don't disciple them. This year, if they don't invite you in, you hold your peace. This year, don't force your way into nobody's life. If they want you, they got to open the door. Oh! Are y'all listening to me? When you know what you got, you don't have to invite yourself in. When you know what you got, you don't have to force your way in. Either you want it or you don't. God is not going to force his way into your life. Either you invite him in or you don't. Right. Don't. Woo. I was talking to a brother last night. He was telling me, the conversation made sure that he got a bunch of shows he's about to do. And, and I said, well, that's, that's a blessing. Amen. You know, we do music. Mm -hmm. And I almost started to ask him, let me come and get out. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about his message. And God said, you better not ask him. Yeah. 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 If he wants you to come, yeah. he's going to tell you to come. Mm -hmm. And y'all listen to me. Yeah. And so I just shut my mouth. He said, amen. I said, well, amen, that's a blessing. Okay? Well, Rock it, baby. Preach it, baby. Somebody. Amen. I'm <laughs> and then he said, but I want you to come with me. Mm. Ah, I said, okay. <laughs> wow. I said, well, then what dates do you have? I said, well, no, I can't do that one. I can't do that one. But I can do this one. Mm -hmm. Because you got to understand what you got. Yes, yes. Uh, are y'all listening yes, to me? Yes, you got to understand what you got. Yes, and I'm going to tell you one thing about a Roy's Royce. It will never go on sale. Right. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, yes. I'm tell you one thing about a Bentley. It'll never go on sale. Are y'all listening? They ain't got no commercials. They ain't got no advertising. They ain't got none of that. Amen. They don't need it. They know what they got. Come on now. And so, he says, come up here. And when they came up, the Bible lets us know that they were talking about the book of Isaiah and about Jesus being as a sheep led into the slaughter and so forth. Mm -hmm. And he asked him a question. Mm -hmm. The only dumb question is one not asked. That's good. Are y'all listening to me say that again? The only right. dumb question, question is right. one not That's asked. Right. He says, what does this mean? <laughs> I'm reading something and I don't know what it's talking about. Is the, I know the prophet is talking though. He says, is he talking about himself? Or is he talking about another man? I'm confused here. I'm not understanding this. It's not, sometimes, sometimes I'll get the Bible and I'll read it in the King James. Mm -hmm. I'll read it in the English. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting a Lenny transfer because I, I, I'm reading. I'm like, I don't understand this in the King James. I'm just not clicking to me. And so I'll read it in this translation. I'll read it in that translation. I kind of get a clear understanding. How can I teach a people and feed your people? Like, I'm not really getting this. Are y'all saying, come on, Holy Ghost, you're not letting me know what show me this. What you're saying? I don't get it. Are y'all listening to me? Sometimes you got to read multiple Bibles. Sometimes you got to do multiple trades. You ain't going to get it on the first. Sometimes you got to read it over and over and over and over and over and over. Oh, listen to me, preachers. You may not get it on the first one. You got to read it over and over and over and then click. I got it. Ow! <laughs> oh, yeah. And so he asks the question. Who is he talking about? And he says, from that passage, from that passage, he began to preach Jesus. They didn't have the Gospels. The Gospels were being written. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, yes, yes. Because, because Jesus, the whole Bible, every book from Genesis to Revelation is about Jesus. Yes, yes. yes, you can learn how to live good. Yes, you can learn how to marry. Yes, you can learn all these things of life. But the main purpose of the Bible is to expose who Jesus is and what he has did on your behalf. Are y'all listening to me? I don't need Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John to start preaching Jesus. I can take you back to Genesis and preach Jesus. I can take you back to Exodus and preach Jesus. I can take you back to Leviticus and preach Jesus. I can take you back to Deuteronomy and preach Jesus. Why? Because the whole Bible is about Jesus. This whole world is about Jesus. Every planet, every atmosphere, every stratosphere, it's all about Jesus. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made. And if you really want to have a good life, you have to make your whole life about Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. All the glory comes when you make your life about Jesus. All cancer flees when you make your life about Jesus. <clears throat> Death flees when you make your life about Jesus. Do you remember Hezekiah, King Hezekiah, when the prophet came and said, you're about to die? He said, no, 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 no. Lord, how can I die when I've made my life about you? And about keeping worship in this earth. And God sent the prophet back and said, give him 15 more years. Right, come on. Why would God give you seven more days if it ain't about him? Why should he give you tomorrow? Why? What would it benefit him? Why? Why would I bring you into 2021? Why? What good are you to God? Are y'all listening to me? Oh, God told me this will be a year when you see unbelievers go down. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, so you're going to watch the devil fall. Yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah, well, Y'all listening to me. Yeah. So you better make me go. Oh, you better be sure. Be very sure that you've made your life about Jesus. Mm. And so, he preached Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your life, our situation, mm -hmm. our marriage, our children, mm -hmm. our money will not change until you preach Jesus to it. Mm -hmm. You better stop telling them kids about education and start telling them about Jesus. Come on. Better stop telling them just get good grades. No, baby, you better pray. You better read your Bible. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You gotta preach, you gotta preach Jesus to your pocketbook. You gotta tell your money on that you will bro, because you got work to do for Jesus. Are y'all I will not serve you. I'm gonna make you serve Jesus. You gotta preach Jesus to your marriage. Are y'all listening? Stop talking Bill so much and start talking Jesus talk to each other. Stop telling each other about what Jesus does and what Jesus can do and how Jesus can fix it and how Jesus can make it happen. Yes. Don't just talk Jesus on Sunday. That's you right. got to talk Jesus every day. You got to have so much Jesus in you Ooh. that when you're talking football, Jesus comes out. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about what you're going to cook, Jesus comes out. When you're at the job and work out, Jesus comes out. Yeah. You got to put Jesus so far down there that it just starts to throw up. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? It just starts to burst in you. 
You got to talk Jesus or it's going to fall. <laughs> you got to talk Jesus or it's going to fall. Mm-hmm. You got to talk Jesus or it's going to fall. Yeah. You got to talk Jesus or it's going to fall. You got to talk Jesus or it's going to fall. So he talked Jesus to him. In other words, he started talking also about baptism. Mm-hmm. Because you cannot talk Jesus and not talk about baptism. Oh, God. Baptism, the gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. The death, the burial, and the resurrection. The death, the burial, and the resurrection.